If your games are stuttering, FPS is unstable, or your system feels weaker than it should, your hardware might not be the issue. The real problem? Windows is holding back your CPU and GPU. In this guide, we'll unlock 100% of your system's performance using tested, targeted tweaks built for gaming. Whether you're on a low-end PC or chasing ultra-smooth gameplay, these steps will push your hardware to its full potential. Let's turn your machine into the gaming beast it was meant to be. 1. Disable Hyper-V to free up CPU resources for gaming. Before we start this step, let's understand what Hyper-V actually does and why it might be slowing down your games. Hyper-V is a built-in Windows virtualization feature that allows you to run virtual machines, but if you're not using any virtual operating systems, it's completely unnecessary for a gaming PC. In fact, keeping it enabled can reserve a portion of your CPU power in the background, causing overhead and reducing the resources available to your games. That means your system is wasting performance on features you don't even need. To fully unlock your CPU and GPU's performance for gaming, we're going to disable Hyper-V. Here's how you can do it. Press the Windows key, type Turn Windows Features On or Off into the search bar and hit Enter. A new window will pop up with a list of optional Windows features. Scroll down the list until you find Hyper-V. Uncheck the box next to Hyper-V to disable it entirely. Click OK to apply the change. Windows may ask you to restart your PC. Go ahead and click Restart now, or you can reboot it manually later. After turning this off, your CPU will no longer reserve resources for virtualization tasks, allowing more consistent processing power for games. You'll likely notice smoother gameplay and reduced background lag, especially in CPU-bound titles. Step 2. Optimize CPU and GPU performance with Tested Optimization Pack. To fully unlock the performance of your CPU and GPU for gaming, one of the most effective methods is using a properly structured optimization pack, especially if it's tested and tailored for real-world gaming scenarios. Instead of manually digging through dozens of settings, this step delivers a pre-configured, streamlined solution that applies powerful tweaks with just a few clicks. To get started, go to my official website, uptopacks.com. Once you're there, click on the FPS Boost section. Look for the post with the same title and thumbnail as this video. It's easy to identify. Scroll down a bit and you'll find a direct download link for the full pack. No pop-ups or extra steps. After downloading the optimization pack, extract it to your desktop for easy access, then open the folder. Start with the CPU optimization section. Inside, you'll find a collection of carefully designed tools and registry files tailored to unlock your CPU's full power. Go through each file one by one, making sure to install everything exactly as shown. Don't rush or skip any step. Each part plays a key role in reducing system latency and ensuring that your CPU runs at peak performance during gaming. Once that's complete, move to the CPU Priority folder. Here, you'll see two separate folders, one labeled Intel and the other AMD. It's important to select the correct folder based on your processor. If you're using an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and run the included file to apply the right priority settings. For AMD users, do the same inside the AMD folder. These tweaks will adjust core behavior and task prioritization, allowing your games to access more consistent CPU power with less background interruption. Next up, navigate to the GPU Thread Optimization folder, where we'll focus on boosting your graphics card performance as well. Make sure to follow the instructions based on your GPU brand, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. These tweaks will help improve rendering speed, reduce driver latency, and ensure smoother frame delivery across all games. So guys, in this next step, we'll be using Process Lasso to fine tune your system and boost your CPU performance during gaming. After installing Process Lasso, go ahead and open the application. From the main menu, navigate to Active Power Profile and set it to Bitsum High Performance. This will instantly switch your system to a mode that prioritizes raw processing power, giving your CPU more freedom to run at its maximum capacity. Once that's done, no other changes are needed in the power control section. Now move to the pro balance section and uncheck the box to disable pro balance. 
This prevents your system from lowering the priority of active tasks, which is especially important when you want full performance during games. After that, go back to the main menu and uncheck Performance Mode Enable to make sure your manual adjustments remain in full control. Next, launch the specific game or application you want to optimize, whether it's CS2, Valorant, Fortnite, or anything else. Once it's running, return to Process Lasso and open the Active Processes list. Find the process for that game and right-click on it. First, go to CPU Priority, select Always and set it to High. This ensures your CPU gives more attention to that game over other background tasks. Then, go back to the same process, select CPU Affinity, choose Always and assign it to all available CPU cores. This allows the application to use the full strength of your processor without restriction. Now, go to Memory Priority, choose Always and set it to Above Normal, which helps the system allocate more memory bandwidth to your game for smoother performance. Finally, right-click on the process one more time, go to Power Profile and set it to bit some High Performance or the custom High Performance Power Plan you created earlier. Once all settings are applied, you can close Process Lasso. It will continue running in the background and automatically apply these optimizations every time you turn on your PC. After doing this, you'll feel a clear boost in CPU responsiveness, smoother gameplay and better performance across all your favorite titles. Now, head over to the MSI Mode Utility folder, right-click on the application file and choose Run as Administrator. When the User Account Control Prompt appears, click Yes to proceed. Once the utility launches, you'll see a list of all connected devices. Carefully locate your GPU model in the list. Make sure not to confuse it with other devices. After selecting your GPU, check the box labeled MSI and then set the priority level to high. Finally, click on apply to confirm and save your settings. This change enables your GPU to operate in message signaled interrupt mode, which can lower system latency and enhance response times, translating into smoother, more stable in-game performance. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 3. Disable background services to unlock full CPU performance for gaming. Many background services in Windows are designed for everyday convenience, but they often come at the cost of performance, especially when gaming. These services quietly eat up CPU cycles and disk bandwidth, even when you don't need them. By disabling just a couple of them, you can free up critical resources and allow your CPU to fully focus on delivering high, stable frame rates in your games. This step is especially impactful on low-end systems, where every bit of CPU power counts. Here's how to do it. Open your Start menu, type Services, and launch the Services app. Once it opens, scroll through the list and find a service called SysMain. This is the newer name for Superfetch. Although its purpose is to preload commonly used applications into memory, for gamers, it often results in higher background CPU and disk usage with no actual benefit. Right-click on SysMain, choose Properties, and in the window that appears, set Startup Type to Disabled. Click OK to apply the change. Now, scroll further and look for Windows Search. 
This service continuously indexes your files to speed up search results, but it also causes frequent CPU spikes, something you absolutely don't want while gaming. Right click on Windows Search, select Properties, change the startup type to Disabled and hit OK. With both of these services turned off, your CPU no longer wastes power on preloading and indexing. This results in smoother frame rates, fewer background interruptions, and a system that feels more responsive and focused entirely on gaming. Step 4. Optimize the NVIDIA control panel for maximum GPU performance. Before we dive into the settings, let's quickly go over why this step is important. Even with a powerful NVIDIA GPU, your system might not be using it to its full potential due to default driver configurations. These default settings often prioritize power efficiency or visual quality over raw performance, which can limit your FPS, increase input delay, and reduce responsiveness during gaming. To fix that, we're going to manually adjust your NVIDIA control panel for a performance-focused setup. Here's how to unlock your GPU's full power through the NVIDIA control panel. Right-click anywhere on your desktop and select NVIDIA control panel. Once it opens, head over to the Adjust Image Settings with Preview tab from the left sidebar. In this section, choose Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings, then click Apply. This ensures that all custom settings we apply next will actually take effect in your games. Now go to the Manage 3D Settings tab from the same sidebar. This section is where the real performance tuning happens. One by one, apply the following tweaks. Low latency mode. Set this to Ultra. It reduces input lag and gives a quicker response during fast-paced gameplay, which is especially critical in competitive shooters. Power management mode. Switch it to prefer maximum performance. This forces your GPU to stay at its highest clock speeds, avoiding unnecessary throttling during gaming sessions. OpenGL rendering GPU. From the drop-down, select your NVIDIA GPU. This ensures all OpenGL-based tasks use your dedicated graphics instead of defaulting to integrated ones. Vertical Sync. Set this to off. It removes FPS caps and input delay. If you notice screen tearing, you can come back and try adaptive as a middle ground. Once you've adjusted all the settings, click apply in the bottom right corner. That's it. You can now close the control panel. After doing this, your NVIDIA GPU will be set to prioritize gaming performance over everything else. You'll likely notice smoother frame rates, faster input response, and a more stable gaming experience overall especially in demanding or fast action titles. Step 5. Fine-tune Windows graphics settings for full GPU performance. Before we begin, let's take a moment to understand why this step matters. Even with the best GPU settings applied through NVIDIA control panel, Windows itself can sometimes limit your GPU's effectiveness if default power saving or integrated graphics options are active. These hidden settings often prevent your games from accessing full GPU resources, which can lead to lower FPS and inconsistent frame pacing. That's why we're now going to configure the Windows level graphics settings to make sure your GPU is always prioritized for gaming. Here's how to fine tune these options for better performance. Right click on your desktop and choose display settings. Scroll down until you see the section called related settings and click on graphics settings. This will open a new window where performance tweaks live. First, look for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If your GPU and Windows versions support it, toggle it on. This feature helps Windows manage and schedule GPU tasks more efficiently reducing system latency and improving overall responsiveness in GPU-heavy games. Next, we'll make sure your games are always using the high-performance GPU. Under the Graphics Settings window, find the drop-down labeled Choose an app to set preference. Select the Desktop app, then click Browse. From here, navigate to the installation folder of your game. For example, for Fortnite, Go to Fortnite Game Binaries Win64, then select the game's .exe file and click Add. You can repeat this same process for other titles like Valorant, Counter-Strike 2 or any game you regularly play. Once your game appears in the list, click the Options button next to it. A new window will pop up, select High Performance, then click Save. 
This forces Windows to use your dedicated GPU instead of any integrated graphics for that game. After applying these settings, your GPU will handle gaming tasks more directly and efficiently. The result is smoother gameplay, faster load times, and more consistent frame rates across all your favorite titles. That's it for this guide. Your CPU and GPU should now be running at full power for smoother, faster gaming. If it helped, drop a like and subscribe for more performance tips. See you in the next one.